Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I've posted up a lot of videos recently about the fact that I've lost a lot of weight and how I've gone about doing it. And recently, yeah, one of you asked a question, how do you put on weight if you're struggling to, to actually gain weight? How do you do about that? It's not something I know a great deal about because putting on weight has never been an issue for me. Uh, sadly, I do it very easily, whether it's fat or, or muscle mass. So I've got my friend Ollie here. Ollie is the guy that owns this gym. He's a, a former professional bodybuilder, um, does a lot of strongman stuff and has been a pro MMA fighter as well. He's known affectionately as Big Ollie for obvious reasons and he knows all about um, putting on weight. So, hi Ollie, Thank, thanks for agreeing to, to be interviewed. Okay. Um, first things first, is, is, it, is it particularly tricky to put on weight? Do some people find it very difficult? Um, some are just gifted. Um, I say I was probably on the higher end of the genetic gifted to start off with. Um, most people's grind, um, and it's people don't can't distinguish, distinguish the difference between putting on overall bulk and lean muscle. They're different things. Okay. Actually, people can gain, people can gain half. I've tried to build up uh, half a stone this month, and they, all they've done is put fat on water on. Okay, so I'm assuming that that's that's simple simple math. So it's like a calorie instead of instead of hitting a calorie deficit. I don't eat count calories. I've never have done. I've okay. three types. Um, okay. Uh, people say to me, oh, "I had two thousand calories today." I see the five Mars bars or twenty lettuces. I, I want to see grams of of certain food types going. Okay. Here. So if you if you had one thing that you were going to look at. Food-wise, are we looking? Are we uh, that's going to help? Is it protein? Is it carbohydrate? Is it? What you can't. I mean, your protein is what builds muscle. Your overall weight maintenance is carbohydrate control. I mean, when I was competitive bodybuilding, um, I was keeping my my fats and proteins much the same all the way through the year. It was just my carbohydrate intake which controlled it all. Um, oh. And not we're not talking. Breads and cakes and you know, it's, it's the complex carbs like rice and potato, okay. which is my mainstay of uh, carbohydrates. Um, muscle is 80 percent percent water, so and carbohydrates control your water weight, water intake in your body. So that is that's the secret. It's not rocket science. It's very very straightforward. So, if somebody was looking at putting on weight, yeah, would I be right in saying that the the first thing to do is to cut out simple sugars? Um, you use them as energy source and that's all. Okay. Most of us, especially in our age, you don't need any more sugar than you know, to, to, to feed your workouts really and keep you, keep, keep you awake. Um, <coughs> so with pies and chocolate isn't going to put on um, decent, like decent, decent mass. It, it's your know, it's basic, basic carbohydrates. Is, is that going to work if you're not exercising much or do you, really, oh, do you need yeah, to I, focus I, I, I the exercise? I've known bodybuilders at the national level take you know, one, two years out of training. They've held their diet fairly tight and maintained most of it. They want to fat gloves after a few months, so they've maintained it. Food controls everything. Okay, so if you've got an average guy on the street who's, who's not particularly fat, but they're, they're quite a small guy, they're not, they're not yeah. big, and they wanted to just build a bit of muscle mass, what, if you could summarise what they had to do, what would it be? Uh, strip the diet down, obviously. Um, initially, I mean, a, a sharp change in diet, you will drop weight anyway before you start gaining weight. That's what I've had most of my clients in the past. Um, you break it, I mean, I go through the typical routine of the average working guy go, actually. Uh, they miss breakfast, they miss small breakfasts, they pick all day. They have a great meal in the evening when you miss having them slow down. And that's not going to do it. You've got to, you've got to have four or five decent balanced meals a day, good water intake, um, and it's going to be simple, boring food, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> That's the one thing I would say. It's not, there's nothing exciting about um, eating lean to gain size. You can add, you can add flavours and herbs and whatever to it, but it's the salt issues that they're all gone. The salt's all gone. Yeah. And. If somebody, again, so we've got a good diet in place, we've got something that's relatively low in simple sugars, relatively high in protein and complex carbohydrates. Yeah. 
what else do people need to be doing? What sort of exercise? Are we looking at you know big heavy weights? Are we looking at cardio? Um, what, what, what's obviously? What I mean, I would, I would, I would, I would describe it as if you have a, a set of ten a bench press or a set of ten lap pull downs or bicep curls. If I gave you a ten reps, <coughs> if you if you've got a, a light weight and just for ten reps, that's not doing anything. If you've got a weight that's too heavy and struggling to run out two, three reps, it's too, you know, it's, that's no good either. Okay. It's the intensity I found which builds muscle, not the actual weight. Okay, so we're looking at whatever weight it happens to be, something, so you're looking at maxing out okay. about 10 reps. Um, if, if I gave you a set of 15, you want, a set, you want uh, the reps 12, 13, 14, 15 to be really hard work. Okay. But not so hard that you lose your form. It's got to be intense. You've got to have a mind to muscle link as well. Well, you know, it's got to be strict enough to focus on that muscle working and, um, you know, hard work, but not so much. So if you're in a bicep curl, you keep it nice and, that's like three, four seconds per rep, squeezing the muscle at the top, stretching yeah. right out. And there's short range Just, 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 just to turn this one so you can see. Obviously, if you, you don't want to be doing your short movements, as many people do, you want to be not, not too fast, all the way down. All the way up, squeeze at the top, stretch, contract. The muscles there not to be muscle bound, it's, it's there to, just to stretch and contract. And focus on it. Um, the last few reps have got to be hard work, but not so, not so hard that you're rocking backs and forwards and you know, gaining momentum through okay. cheating. So, so, a lot of the time, you, you, you'd almost recommend people cut the weight down slightly with, when they're exercising to make oh, yeah. sure they get good form. Well, you don't get heavy, heavy, unless you're a power lifter, you don't get heavy, heavy safe. But even a power lifter, there's, there's some trouble. Sure. Okay. So, so there you have it. If you want to build a bit of lean muscle bulk, and I assume that's what the question's about regarding, uh, not regarding body fat, sort your diet out, eat well, eat clean, cut out the crap, do some exercise, get some weight, but don't, don't cheat. Keep the weights relatively low, but heavy enough that you can maintain good form and, and stress yourself. And mind muscle link, that's really important, really important. Brilliant. Cheers, Ollie. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Um, hopefully I'll drag him along later on. This guy is, is my, my calf rival down at the gym. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Calf and calf. <laughs> it's okay guys, see you soon.